Hi everyone, today we're taking a look at the 2022 Toyota GR Supra 3.0. Toyota relaunched the Supra name back in 2020 and it's been evolving every year since. It's currently available with either a 2.0-liter 4-cylinder engine or a 3.0-liter inline 6 that gets 382 horsepower. Last year I drove the 2.0 and now we're taking a closer look at this 3.0 version. For 2022, Toyota has added heated seats, a full screen Apple CarPlay display, and a hot red leather trimmed interior to the 3.0 Premium. Pricing for the 3.0 starts at $52.5 and goes up from there. And coming soon to 2023 models will be a newly developed 6-speed manual transmission. In the meantime, let's hop in and take a closer look at this 2022 Toyota GR Supra 3.0 Premium. The GR Supra is a captivating sports car. Its shape is reminiscent of past generations with a short wheelbase, arched fenders, an elongated nose, and a wide rear bumper. The front lighting signature includes six lens LED headlights behind an L-shaped LED daytime running light and turn signal. The hood wraps around into the fenders to accentuate the curves and create a smooth look. Around back is an integrated rear spoiler with a high arch. LED taillights outline the shape of the lights and lower portion of the rear fascia has a trapezoidal design that gives it a race car look. The reverse lights are integrated at the center and form a cluster of 15 circular LED lights for a very unique look. 3.0 models come with 19-inch forged aluminum twin-spoke wheels and a dual-tone finish wrapped in high-performance Michelin summer tires. The GR Supra 3.0 comes with a 3.0-liter inline 6 that delivers 382 horsepower and 368 pound-feet of torque that pairs with an 8-speed automatic. Coming in 2023 will be the return of a 6-speed manual transmission option for the 6-cylinder models only. It's capable of a 0-60 to 60 time of 3.9 seconds as it rapidly shifts through the gears. It glides into the 7,000 RPM redline with ease. Steering is well weighted, the Brembo brakes are strong, and its overall balance keeps the driver in a comfortable position. The suspension is stiffer, thus you'll feel the road imperfections, but that's the fun of a car like this. Despite being a bit bouncier, it grips the road well with its sport tires and hugs the corners on quick turns. Both engines are smooth, but the inline 6 is next level buttery smooth. Combined with the sweet pops from the exhaust, and it's a perfect pairing for a sports coupe like this. An available sport mode will alter the dynamics for an even more engaging and race-inspired driving style. The Supra comes with a 13.7 gallon fuel tank that offers a range of around 320 miles. EPA fuel economy for the 3.0 models are estimated at 25 miles per gallon combined. After a week of suburban driving, I averaged 23 miles per gallon with premium fuel being recommended. Climbing inside, it is a two-seat vehicle so the cabin will be tighter, but all of the controls are very driver-centric and within reach. Materials are high quality and controls such as the shift knob and buttons are reminiscent of BMW models. Drivers are surrounded by touches of carbon fiber trim and will face a standard 8.8 inch high resolution digital instrument cluster. At the center is a tachometer with an engine speed and gear selector, while the side displays can both be customized. A sport leather wrapped steering wheel includes column mounted paddle shifters, controls for entertainment, and cruise control. Sitting atop of the center of the dash is an 8.8-inch touchscreen that can also be controlled via a jog dial adjacent to the gear selector. The dial was easy to use with the twist or press controls and is appropriately placed. 3.0 models come standard with a 10-speaker hi-fi sound system and premium models will get a 12-speaker JBL hi-fi surround system that fills the cabin. Other standard features include a head-up display, USB Bluetooth connectivity, heated seats, dual zone climate zone, and the Supra Command. An optional safety and technology package adds wireless Apple CarPlay, that upgraded 12-speaker audio system, touchpad rotary control, speed limit information, and more. Standard black Alcantara leather seats are well bolstered to provide driver and passenger comfort. Premium models get upgraded leather trim sport seats available in red or black. The seating position is low and very comfortable despite being in a relatively small space. Headroom is surprisingly sufficient thanks to the double bubble roof design. Rear visibility is limited by the small windows and low seating position. While clearly not a vehicle to haul a lot of cargo, the cargo area's 10.2 cubic feet is larger than many of its competitors. There is access to the rear cargo between the two seats via a small opening. Now that I've had the chance to drive both models, I can say that opting for the more expensive 3.0 will deliver more thrills in the long run if you plan to do a lot of driving. If you're going to keep it local and drive in primarily urban areas, the 2.0 will likely be sufficient. This continues to be one of my favorite cars to drive as it looks amazing, drives smooth, and sounds like a sports car should sound. That's a wrap of my review of the 2022 Toyota GR Supra 3.0. 
Once again, this car has been an absolute blast to drive around and turns heads everywhere it goes. For the full review, be sure to visit drivechicago.com or subscribe below for even more automotive content. And give us a follow on our other social channels, including Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm Jim O'Brill with Drive Chicago. Thanks for watching.